Welcome ladies and gentlemen to these trends. I'm here to give you a quick update what's trending on social media. So over the weekend, a particular story has been trending and if your daughter is always in the news about the Eat Avenue and her restaurant, Buhaha. So I'm here to give you an update on that story. This is these trends. My name is Priscilla Banks. For some weeks now, Ifeodo has been trending and she has been in the news for her 40% shares for going on X or Twitter now known as X saying that we should go there and eat at our own risk. And she made, she made an update. So she started from the genesis of the story, why she had to leave it avenue and why she came on x to say that she's no longer affiliated with it avenue when we go there we eat at our own race if you don't know if you if you has a podcast she, she came on a podcast and answered all the questions that we Ghanaians or we her fans were longing to hear so if your other went on her podcast and gave us the genesis of the story why she's no longer affiliated with Eat Avenue and why she came on X to make the statement that when we go when we go to Eat Avenue, we are going to eat at our own risk. So I think um, Gisela and Ama Berlin, if you don't know them, they are influencers. So they asked her some salient questions and she answered. Through the whole process of Eat Avenue and how it ended up here. Okay. According to her, the reason why she is not longer at Eat Avenue, allegedly, um, is it the owner that said it? Or some people are saying that she, she went to eat medicals um, manager at the restaurant. Other issues was, was happening. Like people were saying that um, this guy came there. What's his name? Medicals manager came there. Mm -hmm. People were saying, eh, it's because medic, uh, a medicals manager came there and they saw me. They, 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 they said that uh, the, my co-owner saw me chopping the guy at the restaurants. Mm? Oh. <laughs> like, like, it's, it's, how? First of all, me, me Obia, like, I welcome everyone. I'm very, I'm very hospital. I'm very sociable. Which was an allegation, which wasn't true. That's why she had to resign because the man is married and she doesn't want that to be attached to her name that, okay, what would their wife be thinking? Okay, if your daughter is now also doing that with my husband, blah, blah, blah. That's why she had to stop. Not just me, it's also Betty and him. Mm -hmm. He has kids. Mm -hmm. He has a partner. Do you understand? Um, although, like, I'm not friends with the woman, I'm not enemies, but I'm a woman. If I'm married and and there are rumors going around that you and, let's say you and him, there are rumors going around that you guys are sleeping together and I see you at the, at, 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 at the restaurant. I see you at the apartment. By all means, as a woman, I'll feel some kind of way. So there's a lot of things that I can't say, but I put myself in her shoes, Okay. Uh, one time, when the sister fear issue happened, somebody wants to write, not even just on Twitter, even on Instagram, some pages. I see these things. And you stole, you are still, you are still in, um, I, I don't want to say her name because I didn't, uh, you are still in uh, this one's husband. Uh, he has bought you the car. He has, he, he, he's, he's, he, he, he's got to you uh, an apartment. Like it was rampant. It was too much. But my question is, is that a reason? Is that a reason why, or there is more to this which she doesn't want to tell us? And she said clearly in her interview that she doesn't want to say a lot of things because some things cannot be said. But the reason why, the main reason why she left it Avenue is that reason. And again, she, she cleared the air why she said, if we go to it Avenue, we are eating at our own risk. It's because... She doesn't want people to be calling her when they get wrong orders, when they have complaints. She doesn't want anybody to call her. So when, when you are going or when you are going to eat at her restaurant, her former restaurant, you are going there on your own. She's no longer affiliated. Nobody should call her because she said in an interview that even on the pack of the food is her number that is there. And she does most of the calls. She talks to the customers like directly. So that's why she came on X to make that statement. So then why did you um, tweet it at your own risk? 
Because yeah. that made it seem like you guys had an issue and now you are no longer affiliated with them. Because then if you if you didn't end on a bad note and it's just rumors, then that means you still wish him well. Or if you still have your 40% share there as you posted there, then it means that even if you are not there physically and it Avenue is going still, well, you still get your 40% from it. Right. So then why did you tweet that it's at your own risk? Because then now... Put um, this thing aside. We are co-hosts. I go to Eat Avenue because of you. Yes. So me now, you say we should eat at my own risk. I won't go again. Now <laughs> no. you are losing. So the Eat at your own risk, it was more like, okay, now I'm not there. Yeah, I'm not there. Obviously, I feel like, first of all, I moved with emotions. It's something that I shouldn't have tweeted. Because like, like, like you said, people who are going there because of me, now it's like, hey, if you want to say Eat at your own risk, what are you trying to say? Like, now I'll be scared to, now, obviously that was something I shouldn't have done. I think... Looking back at it now, it was very childish of me, mm. but it was more like, okay, I'm not there. If anything happens, it's your own risk. Mm. Let's say you get a wrong order. Normally, people are coming to me in my DMs. I get messages like all the time. If you're though, my food is not coming, the dispatch. So I was doing a lot of the, I guess, P, not, not PR, but more of handling issues. Like even my number was on the, the, the box for like, if you have complaints. So it was more of like, if you have any complaints, don't come to me about it. Go to the, go to, um, let's say, call Eat Avenue on its own. And the statement affected her so bad that I think now brands will even be scared to be associated with her. And again, one regret, she said that her, it, it's her regret to go on UTV to say she was the CEO. So you could have said, no, I'm not a CEO. I'm working with somebody or I have a partner and I have 40% shares in this particular organization. Like all this back and forth, we will not be having it with you. We will not be saying that, oh, if you're the, because right now your wine shop, the same thing happened and you said you were naive, you are, you are this, you are a child, da, 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 da. And now you are, you are doing the same thing with the restaurant issue again. So from here, I, I know that she'll be learning a lot and she made that statement in the heat of the moment. And she confirmed it, that it was in the heat of the moment. That's why she made that particular statement. So guys, let's check out her interview or her podcast, what she said about the Eat Avenue. When we come back, you are still here on these trends. I first came to Ghana around 2015. So we met like maybe a year or two after, let's say 2017 or 16 around there. We met to a mutual friend, um, this this young girl. So we all became like friends. Like I even saw him to be like someone, like an uncle. Or like he was like a father figure to me. So I always call him uncle, uncle, oh, uncle, uncle. Anybody who asks me who he is, oh, that's my uncle, that's my uncle. And um, he was into real estate. When I first met him, he had done his project in Spintex. Uh, it's like an apartment and it has like a little, it had like a small restaurant, kitchen kind of thing there. And me, I cook. I cook very well. Anybody who knows me knows me, I cook. I cook for 10 friends. <laughs> so like I cook very well. And then we always talked about like doing business together. He's someone, when, he's a, when, when you're around him, he wants you to like grow. He's very supportive. And he saw like how hardworking of a person that I am. Like I've never been a dependent kind of person. So... He brought this um, restaurant idea up because of one his the the restaurant in his in his apartment complex thing, and then me I cook. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm something. I think that's a good idea. Like yeah, but he didn't think I was ready that time because that time too, I was very young. I was still like trying to figure out myself within the industry. But the idea always came about. If you're a restaurant, do my then I then I'm doing my music. Then you see me doing this. Then you see me doing that. So it was just this year that. Um, he was like, I feel I'm really serious about this restaurant thing. Like, if you do it, like, we'll make a lot of money. Because mm -hmm. he, he owns he owns hotels. He owns apartments. He knows how lucrative the food industry is. Mm -hmm. So um, he sat me down. He's like, are you sure you want us to do this? Like, are you ready for I'm like, oh, I'm, like, myself, I'm ready. Like, I want to do it. And one thing about me, anything that I do that I, I put my energy to, like, I put my mind to, like, I go full throttle for it. Like, 100%. I put 100% percent everything that I do so um that's when we started the whole eat at first we we're trying to find a name we got the name we went to register it um percentages so it's not like it's not like it's avenue it wasn't mine it was a partnership mm -hmm. uh I co-owned it and I think I think one thing that kind of messed me up fucked me over was that when I went on UTV mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to really explain in details, it's avenue, the ownership. But you know, sometimes too, like when the cameras are on you and you're in the moments of things, like 
you might over exaggerate truths. And that's what I did. That's that was my first fuck up. Because people were like attacking me, calling me a manager of the restaurant. I don't even own the restaurant. Um, sister Fia, the whole Sister Fia issue, she came online dissing me about the restaurant. So like she, I felt like she was attacking my ego. Like, she, you know, I was like, ah, this girl, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm not no fucking manager. Like a bad bitch like me. I cannot be no manager. Like I've come too far in the industry in my life to just be. Even though being a manager of a, of, a, of, a, of a company, there's nothing wrong with it. But I knew I was more than that. So my first mistake was going on UTV and saying that I'm a, uh, owner. I'm the owner. I should have said, oh, I'm a co-owner. I have shares in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. The reason why people might think I'm a manager is because, yes, they see me there every day. Because one thing about me, I don't play with my money. I don't play with hospitality. I don't play with people, especially like, you know, the food business that you can't, you can't want to mean John Hossa for people to just manage. You have mm -hmm. to be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was staying at the apartment. So, so the restaurant was on top of Mrs. Sapon's um, apartment complex. Uh, I, I know you have all watched that particular video. And my thoughts on this, why is it so hard for us to accept who we really are? Because sometimes we put out informations out there which are not true. And we know that it's not true. But just to, okay, because uh, you want to show that now I also have a restaurant. People are saying that I'm this, I'm that. You just want to prove a point. Listen, you don't have to prove a point to anybody. If you are doing this, if this is for you, this is for you. If it's not for you and you come to the public and you say the truth, nobody will do anything to you. And I, I watch UTV. I, I think one of um, their shows, United Showbiz, and uh, MC Yebua was saying something. It's one particular thing that she said. That got to me was if any brand is working with a Fyodor, they shouldn't work with her anymore because of this particular issue. You see, this whole issue, you think that it's nothing serious, but at the end of the day, you'll be losing a lot of things that if you could have come out and say the truth, it, it wouldn't have gotten here. So we will all learn from her story or we will all learn from what is trending about her and do the right things. You, you are influencing for a brand you are influencing for a brand nobody will do anything to you and she she worked really hard because of this story we can't even see her hard work we are all telling our energy to oh she said she's the ceo now she's not the ceo all her hard work we, we are not able to see them because for six months she was able to put its avenue in everybody's head in everybody's mind if you want to eat cry you, you are thinking of going to eat avenue to eat just to meet a few order so um she has cleared the air and she has told us the reason why she did or she said what she said on x and bringing all the details out so guys this has been these trends and i i know that we have learned something from her story and I, I promised to bring an update so i did the first story with wilson so it's just okay for me to bring the updates for you guys guys so be careful of what you say on the internet because whatever you say on the internet stays on the internet and it can resurface when you list experts this has been these trends. Let's get interactive. Leave a comment about if you're those restaurant saga. And also follow myself, Priscilla Banks, on all socials. Follow us on all socials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Till I meet you on the flip side, just be safe. Just be mindful of what you say. And just be cute all the time. Bye-bye.